It's a rare commodity in the political world. U.S. Senate seats don't come up that often. KOET political expert Brian Sanderoff talking about how often U.S. Senators from New Mexico are reelected. Jeff Bingaman held his for 30 years, Pete Domenici for 36 years. So when one comes up, it's very special. After Senator Tom Udall announcing he will not run again in 2020, many thought Attorney General Hector Balderas would run for that open seat. But he ended those rumors earlier this week. The travel of the United States Senator position would have been too hard on my family and me right now at this time. So I'm going to continue to serve as attorney general. Now that opens the door for U.S. Rep. Ben Ray Lujan. Ben Ray Lujan at this point is probably the Democratic Party's best bet to run for the U.S. Senate seat now that Hector Balderas has decided not to run. Action 7 News has learned Luan will announce his decision on whether or not to run Monday. Meanwhile, Sandoroff says the Republicans have a number of qualified people who could throw their names into the hat. People like Steve Pierce, former Lieutenant Governor John Sanchez, Mick Rich, who gave it a go for the U.S. Senate two years ago, Gavin Clarkson. Those are some names being bantered around. Ben Ray Lujan expected to announce Monday. Sandroff says Lujan would have to give up his seat. Uh, right now, he's the fourth highest ranking Democrat in the U.S. Congress. But he also pointed out that both Udall and Senator Martin Heinrich took that same path to the Senate. Reporting, Brandon Evans, KOT Action 7 News.